Hey, what's up everybody? See the new GoPro Hero 10 is here. So we're gonna do on this video a quick unboxing and kind of comparing it to the GoPro 8. So the reason we're gonna compare it to the GoPro 8, obviously I don't have the 9. And the reason I didn't upgrade to the 9 is because the 8 and the 9, they had the same processors. I believe the 7 and 6, they had the same processor. And as we know, these all of them, they're kind of slow when you're trying to touch, uh, mess with the controls and all that. So they're kind of slow. So besides the front display, I didn't think it was worth it upgrading from the 8 to the 9. Um, I did wanted it because of that, he used because of that feature, but he just decided to wait because I found out that they were having problems with the 5K and then it was the same processor. So it was, it wasn't, it wasn't really, I felt like it wasn't really worth it. It was still slow. So with this one, it's finally, I feel like it's a big upgrade. It has a, a faster processor. It should be faster whenever you touch on the controllers. So, and right away, I can tell that this is way better packed, by the way. If you're trying to get one of these ones, I would recommend for you to wait for uh, Black Friday because right now this one is more expensive than the 9. The 9 was 450 without the subscription. Uh, with the subscription, I think it was uh, 300. But now this one is 500. It with the subscription is 400. It's more expensive, it's $50 more expensive than in that one. I believe, I wanna say this one is more $100 more expensive than the 8. And the eight I got in during intense giving, it was a bundle. It came with the uh, little tripod, extra battery, a memory card, a uh, headband, and I believe that's all. But it was for the same price as a regular price. So you did get a lot more. Um, if I remember right, on the nine, they did the same bundle, same things. Uh, so I would wait if I were, if I were you for uh, Black Friday because I'm pretty sure they're gonna do either a bundle or they're gonna discount at least, at least $50 on this one. And like I said, this one is $500, it's more expensive. So on the packing, I can already tell that they give you a, like a bag so you can keep it in there. Instead of this one, they don't give you anything. This is, so you just like hanging around. So that's nicer, but I don't think this bag is worth $50. So, so let's open it up and uh, see what we got inside. So let's go ahead and unbox this. So let's unbox, let's take off this nice cover here. So this comes in a nice bag. It says GoPro here. It's pretty nice. It looks like it will actually co uh, protect it when you are traveling. So that's pretty good. So let's see what we got here. You got some, like a quick setup. You got your manuals of the things, of how to charge it, what you do, how to put the battery. And by the way, this one here for $500, even though it costs, it costs $500, it doesn't come with a memory card like back in the day. So uh, that's kind of like a bummer. So then you got your USB-C charger. Um, nowadays, you only get one of these. Back in the day when I bought the four, um, and until the five and six, it came with two of them. One's like more like, um, like an oval shape, and the other one was like flat. And then you get, you got, you get this to mount it here, or other accessories. Cause you get your screws, and you get the battery. By the way, if you have, batteries from the eight or other models, you, you won't be able to use it on the nine. So like I have like a few batteries of these, so I won't be able to use it on the on the 10. Um, so because it's a lot bigger, you can, um, it's not a lot bigger, but you can easily tell it that it's bigger. And this right here is where it uh, connects to it. It's different, so even if you try to, you won't be able to get it in there. And here's the GoPro itself. You got the little cardboard. And here you can put um, accessories if you have some, which this is really nice. Like I say, is if it does feel nice, it feels good quality, but I don't think it's worth fifty dollars more or a hundred dollars more compared to this. Um, at when I said the nine, it came with this kind of case too. So 
Uh, it might be something, that's probably why they went up um, $50 more from the 829 and 100 from this one. So, so the main design, um, it is bigger. Um, I don't know if it is, uh, how much bigger it is from the nine. Uh, when I want to say they're probably the same size. Um, the lens looks pretty much the same. Um, with the battery, let's see how much more it weighs with the battery in there. So, with the battery, it, I, I want to say they feel about the same. If you weigh it like this, I'm sure the numbers, they actually, they, this might be a little heavier, I don't know. Uh, this one is a little bit bigger. So besides that, the screen, yeah, even the screen, even the display is a little bit bigger of the tin. You know, obviously you have the nice front, uh, front display. So let's turn it on and let's see if it is faster, like they said, is supposed to. Another thing I noticed is this little cap here for the battery is like the spring loader. So it's a little harder for to open it, which is good. Like this one, you can easily open it and it stays open like that. So that is good because I never had this open by accident, but that's good that uh, it's a little more protective and it is a harder, little harder to put it back on and to take it off, but that's good because you never know um, when you might open it by accident. I do see like the edge here is bigger. So maybe that's why than this one. And it won't let you turn it on unless you have a SD card there. So it's kind of kind of weird because this one, the eight, it does let you turn it on. Um, so I want to see what it's like trying to mess with the settings to see if if it is better. So right away out of the box, um, it's telling me that I had to do an update. It's not letting me do anything without the update. So it just kind of sucks that I cannot show you. I had to do the update first. So to do the update, we had to go to the app and then um, do the um, update from there. So let's do that. So in order for you to do an update on the GoPro, you have to update the app first. So there's a lot of update going on especially right now on the first day that it got released, there's a lot of update. It won't let you update the GoPro without the update on the app. So you had to do that first. So let's go ahead and do that. So here it is the, um, the update has been completed. Um, let's try it out and go through some menus and see how respond really is. You have to unlock it, so I guess nothing count. Yeah, I can tell that is, it's a lot faster. Uh, the menu is a little bit different too. So the display feels a little bit better. It does feel like uh, you, you get a better response out of it. This one, you kind of have to like press it more than once. It feels like the display here, the front display on the nine, the display on the front, it was like lagging, especially when you put a live 5K. So that was one of the main, the bad things about it. Uh, this one, I can tell right away that is not, it's not, it's like normal. It's not lagging or anything. It gives you a lot of information. So I don't know if you can see the, here, it does tell you a lot of information. It gives you like the battery, what kind of settings you have. Um, how much memory card you have left. Um, so it's pretty good. I like it. It's like really big. You can even for far away, even if you put it like a kind of like blogging, you can easily tell. So this is the GoPro Hero 10. And the main reason I'm going to use this for is for the, to put it here on the uh, on top of the uh, uh, the uh, FPB drone. So that's the main reason I'm going to use it. So this obviously is a lot better than the, the, the drone. 
and then on the GoPro A. So uh, on this video, I'm not gonna do a review on a hands-on and testing it out and comparing the footage to this and comparing the footage to the drone. So obviously that is coming out soon. So I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.